So you're, you are a, you were a minister at a hospice. Right. I was a hospice chaplain, and I'm a deacon in the Catholic Church at St. Petronell's in Glen Ellen, uh -huh. Illinois. And so you are very, I mean, you're doing incredible work at a hospice. I mean, it's, it's very stressful work. You were retiring, correct? Well, I was actually just changing jobs for numbers of reasons, okay. but we were in the process. And I thought, okay, we got to get a little more organized. So actually, when you talk about New Year's resolutions, for the last couple of years, I've been doing prayerful resolutions for God to help direct me. So okay. lo and behold, Kathleen was agreeable that I had 10 weeks of vacation time coming, so I could go and quit my job with the idea I don't have another job ahead of me. Uh -huh. That's over the weekend. Monday night, I write my letter of resignation, but I was going to wait till Friday to give it. Uh -huh. Tuesday night, she goes to a meeting, and I'm home alone thinking, I, if I'm going to be looking for a job, I better have a clean desk. And, oh, I bought a new computer that I can't even put on there because there's no room. Right. So I'm sitting there by myself in my little basement office, and I didn't realize I ticked off five of the Illinois Lottery Powerball tickets. Uh -huh. But I didn't have the, the Powerball, and I thought, oh, darn. I'll, well, I guess I should be happy. I'm going to probably get a hun couple hundred dollars, maybe even a thousand. Mm. And I'm, I'm checking on the Internet, and I go to the, the site where they show the payoffs, and I saw five numbers without the Powerball, and it said one, zero, 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 zero. And I was just stunned. That's <laughs> Like I am even... Building. So you won a million dollars. A million dollars. I mean... That's great. And I love that you, that you just had these tickets sitting around, and you're like, oh, I'll clean up the clutter on my desk. Well, yeah, it was August 22nd was when I bought the ticket. I'm not a regular player. In fact, the Illinois Lottery people, they want me going there every day, you know, to buy <laughs> uh -huh. tickets. But every once in a while, I buy it, and I just kind of throw them in my That's dresser, amazing. desk, or wherever, and then eventually That's I get incredible. around to checking them. Well, but so how, do you, how, do you, how are you using the money? Like, how do you plan to use it? Well, I told Kathy, we owe God big time, okay? <laughs> <laughs> So we know what tithing Fair is all pace. about. Uh, the federal government and the state government are also helping us. <laughs> <laughs> but then we're going, we've got our charities all lined up that we're going to do. And then we're, we've got a retirement package because I've been kind of like self-employed and everything else. I've yeah. had my yeah. share of not really preparing for these days. But what's wonderful now is a friend of ours who's a doctor at our church said, isn't this interesting? God has now become your paymaster, and you can go and do any work you want. Yeah. That's great. Wow. So, you know, that's, that's where Kathy and I are. That's a great blessing. Well, maybe you could come clear my desk, because uh -huh. my desk really needs... <laughs>